If you're not doing this in your sessions, then I don't know what you're doing. Let's talk about bus tracks. Hey, what's going on, YouTube fam? I am back. So I recently had a subscriber hit me up and ask me, how do I create bus tracks in Ableton? So that's what we go get into. Hey, if you haven't hit that notification bell and that subscribe button, please make sure you do that so you can get notified whenever I drop new content. Let go. Now, what he's asking is how to create a bus tracks in Ableton from what I've seen since I've been at Ableton, it's just grouping the track and this will allow you to pretty much have it as a bus track. And for those of y'all that don't use bus tracks, I don't know why you're not doing it, if you're not doing it. But what it is is putting all your tracks together to where you can have complete control over your, your session in a sense. Or if you wanna do parallel compression to your drums, it's certain tricks you could do when you have bus tracks with parallel compression. So in this case, we're gonna show how I got the melodic, my melodic instruments group. So I'm gonna ungroup in Ableton. On Mac is Command Shift G to ungroup. Um, in Windows, it's probably, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I'm not gonna even sit here and message y'all. I post like a uh, quick key on the on the screen once I once I get done with this video. So it's pretty simple in Ableton to do this. So you want to select all your melodic instruments or whatever instruments that you want to be in the group. You want to select those. So we're going to select all my melodic instruments, hold shift and click the very last one. Then we hit command G and there it is. That's our group. So now if I play, let's say, I don't know what's on analog layer. I think I got Nexus still selected, but you'll see the meter move here. See, it's moving in this group. That's what we want to happen. Same with my drums. Once I bring my drums in from the MPC or however I do it, I still have my drums in its own group. So when I want to do like certain mix and tricks such as parallel compression, I will apply it to this group track or bus track what we call it in other dolls another example i'll show y'all with audio so how many tracks we got we got two audio tracks um i can hit duplicate i mean command d to duplicate these or command t to create a new audio track i want to select these audio tracks select all of them command g so now all my audio tracks are in this group right here. Just as like my tags are in the group. So it's just helping you have more control, um, more, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I like I like my sessions to be neat, organized. There we go. More organize, organized sessions. So I ain't hard to get that one out, but we got it. All right, so that's it. That's how we create group tracks or Bus tracks, what we call them in other dolls. This is how you do it in Ableton. If you have any other questions, please make sure you hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh yeah, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, just so you can get notified whenever I drop new content. Appreciate y'all support. Peace out.